Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Croc 2. In the last part, we got all the wheels. I also got three of everything, because I know I needed three of everything. I haven't upgraded my health, I'm thinking that... Uh, Croc found wheels! Croc must win the race for Gobbos. What? Did you, no, you just go to the door. And now... Yeah... Can't go without one of these. Travels a lot faster than the boat. Say that. I don't recommend this over the hang glider one for crystal grinding though. It's it's a fair bit longer and it's also probably a little bit more difficult. The boat one is a good one, it's the same one, but the hang glider one's almost as easy as the boat one, but it's shorter as well. You also don't want to get jammed on the So very nice track to be honest. The only problem is you get the golden gobble on the first lap. But there's no shortcuts, so you gotta just kinda cut corners and stuff. Actually, there is a one, just don't go through that skeleton. I swear that can hit on the guys like two balls. I always thought there was like honey lined along the edges of the track. Yeah, that's pretty much the only other way to win, though. So it's a bit harder to win as well. There's no clear shortcut that would get you to win, you just get cut corners. So you gotta make progress if we catch up to him. The music is awesome yet again, but when have I never said that? I'm sorry, uh, it's been a, two days since just a couple of seconds ago I'm recording and that's just because for some other reason I have to reset my computer in order to get rid of that lag and I don't really know why, but we'll roll, we'll roll with it. Roll, 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 roll. Anyway, I believe this stage is a little bit more interesting and also it's a bit longer, so I'll drag it on for the next few minutes. Oh, Croc, Dantini's been bad. They've been very bad. What, Dantini's song? Dantini, play with fire. Fire spreading now. Whole forest on fire. Gobbo's in danger. Help them, Croc. Okay, Gobbo. Thing of chickens. Ah. So anyway, this stage is kind of serious. It's got Gobbo's on fire. Anyway, thankfully, you have Bucket. You have Splash of Water. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go up, and I believe you do that. Out of the fight. Anyway, you gotta find 50 gobos. Each one, each one will give you one of the crystals of the stage. You basically gotta manage your water usage. You don't wanna spend it all like that. But what you gotta do is you gotta find water in the stage. Once you get into the water, you replenish your four water buckets. And don't worry, I think the stage like loops around and stuff. But you could, yeah. Okay, so that's not the right way to go, but thankfully we went up here, because now we can go all the way back. I actually like this stage a lot. It's probably one of my more favorite stages of the game. And which one is my favorite stage of the game? I cannot remember. Also, pointless fire is pointless. Anyway, put all of this down. It doesn't matter if 
it's a tiny splash like before or <laughs> like those big ones. Anyway. So yeah, I like this edge a lot just because it's definitely a lot different than other than the other stages in the game. Yeah, I hate the fire throwing Jantinis. Is it like flamethrowers rather than just pellets? Speaking of pellets. This has nothing to do with pellets because it's the jelly! Jelly! Yeah, jelly! Alright. So which one? Blue. Fun fact, you're not gonna need items for rather soon. Uh, I'm gonna take the left one. Um Yeah, actually, quite a fun fact. Only about half of the next world will use items. Um so really, I think it's like two of the stages will use items, so don't feel like you have to stockpile on items all the time, because I accidentally used to. Um, by the way, this is probably one of the only items that you can use freely, besides the binoculars really, because pretty much every other item in the game is only contact sensitive, it, will, it won't let you use it if it's not the right time to use it. Anyway, but um, kind of want to get that guy. And I might as well stock up again. But yeah, um, what was I talking about? Uh, but yeah, I was looking up and I, and apparently you don't really need that many items after these stages. Oh, look at this. I am the great monkey. I'm going to throw my... Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's with that, but okay. Alright, got that. You see, look how he just keeps spraying it. That's the annoying part. Thankfully, yeah, they do put them all together and stuff. Actually, where are all the crystals? We haven't gotten any crystals yet. Just... Anyway. No, that actually, that wasn't that bad, to be honest. I was expecting it to be, like, really bad, but... Anyway, yeah. Alright. So we got our water. We're all good. That. Yep. Whee! Pointless. Thing of. So these guys also set like just random fire. Lots. Wait, I'll just leave them burning. Because I really have no clue where the nearest water storage is. Ah, here it is. Yeah. You see, it's a very fun stage. You go around setting things off fire. But if you can set things on fire, can you set things off fire? Yeah, I think that you get 50 crystals just somewhere in the stage. I'm thinking that. Gosh, did we just have to do that prison group or something? Right, is this the lava pit? No, it's this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> like, oh no! Then again, technically this is their fault. I mean, how the heck do they get up there? The Dantinis aren't just going to climb and put them up there. And stuff, you know? Like, um... They're just Dantinis, you know? Anyway... Boom. 
Oh, you thought I was gonna skip that way. No. Not gonna skip the key. Duh. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you want me to pick that up as well. But that's a okay, golden gobble time. Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh, I can't set off. I can't set it off. I'm just gonna keep lighting it. gonna have to jump it. Did it. Ah, oh, this one! I remember this jump. Jeez, that is a pesky jump. Ooh. Good enough. <laughs> Happy. Alright. Um, so there's four guys over here. Someone recently lit that again. I feel like that was definitely trailing me. I don't know, the water is only tempor temporary. Okay, so, <laughs> um, get some more water. Again, on the point that every stage does something different. <laughs> We're 14 stages in. We've ridden the bike. No, no, we have not ridden the bike. That's the exit, by the way. Don't watch out for the exit. It'll get you. It'll eat you. Um, we ride a boat. We rode a cart. We rode a hang glider. We rode a snowball. We did trials against a rat. A rat? No, an ant. Jeez. Jeez, I'm kind of... I am not with it today. I'm sorry. And now we're going that second path. If that second path is a dead end, then that would just be rather annoying. Especially because there's well, it is a dead end, and there was water here. So what? Where are the other six? And why do they have such a big population? Actually, I think 50 is not really that big of a population. They got a lot, lot of land, though. Ah! For collecting things in just one level, yes, 50 is a lot. Alright, I, I wonder where, that, where those guys are. Guys are. I know it's weird how the camera goes through there, but okay. We'll roll with it. Where is that? Nope, nothing over there. They put the palm trees in a weird position, but other than that, like. Oh no, we've reached this stage where I have absolutely no clue where to go, which is strange considering all the stages are rather linear when you think about it. Oh, jeez, what's that? I tried. <laughs> Maybe you gotta go back around for the. I got this. Oh. Jeez, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? There you go. So we got my water. Got him. And there's like four guys on that one platform. And then we can open the chest. Great box. 
platforms that will lead to these four guys. And oh yeah, they do give you full full crystals. Okay. So this is a rather easy stage to get a hundred crystals, because the only way to pass it is to get a hundred crystals. Again, it's not attached to anything, so I have no clue. I have no clue, really. Alright. Oh, where's my water at? Where's my water at, yo? There you are. Because then we can exit the stage. In lag of vision. <laughs> Alright, so... So I think we're about done with this part, to be honest. There we go, there's the exit. Yeah, I should probably plan this a bit better. But anyway, thank you, Croc. No problem. Anyway, we'll finish this world, I think, next next part. we got one more stage left. we got Golden Gobbo stage, and then we got two bosses. I think we can do it. Alright, see you guys then.